Welcome to Podcast 1-5, Pairs of Angles. In this lesson we will be looking at the following pairs of angles, adjacent, complementary, supplementary, and vertical. For this lesson I'm going to be using the sketchpad file from Geometry Online, starting with adjacent angles. Adjacent angles, uh, what you see here is basically a web of angles. Move it around, the point is to manipulate the file. Adjacent angles are angles that share a common vertex and a common side. So we see this angle AQB, we see angle BQC, they share the same vertex Q, and they share a common side QB. Here we also see some adjacent angles. Angle COD is adjacent angle DOE. They share a common vertex O and a common side. What we do not have is that this angle is adjacent to this one. They may share a common side, but they certainly share different vertices. So if they share the same vertex, then we would have adjacent angles. Complementary angles. Complementary angles is a pair of angles, not a single angle, whose sum is 90 degrees. So as we see in this diagram, this ray and this ray are perpendicular or forming 90 degrees so these two angles together must add up through the angle addition postulate must add up to 90. It doesn't matter what each or how much each angle is either they're 45 each or some combination that adds up to 90. What is unique though is complementary angles don't have to be adjacent as you see here they could be separated. We still consider these two angles as complementary because this one, 25 degrees, and this one, 65, still add up to 90. So whether they're separated or they are adjacent, if they add up to 90, we consider them complementary. Supplementary angles. A pair of angles whose sum is 180 degrees. When we have a, a straight line that would chop off a circle, creating a semicircle, we would certainly have a 180 degree arc going around. So these two angles must add up to 180 degrees. Again, how much each angle is, isn't important, as long as their sum is 180 degrees. It's not that a single angle is 180, it has to be two angles whose sum is 180. And once again, these angles could be separated, like this, as long as their sum is 180 degrees, we consider them supplementary. What is unique about this picture is that the two angles actually form a straight line. So not only are these considered supplementary, they have yet another name, and that name is linear pair. Here's where mathematics can be complicated. Two names for the same thing. Two angles that add up to 180 degrees and form a straight line are called a linear pair. They're also called supplementary. Linear pair would be the more appropriate name. And if they are not actually joined, forming a straight line, separated, then we just consider them as supplementary. Vertical angles are angles that are formed by intersecting lines. In this diagram here, we see two lines that are intersecting. and these lines will form four very obvious angles. They also form straight angles. But angle one and angle two, their sum would be 180. Angle two and angle three, their sum would be 180. Therefore, by subtracting angle two from both of those sums, angle one must be the same as angle three. Hence, vertical angles are angles that are congruent and they are across from each other formed by intersecting lines. So if angle 1 is the same as angle 3, for the same reasoning angle 2 would be the same as angle 4. Unfortunately this name tends to imply the idea that angles are up and down, vertical. Uh, opposite angles is also a very good name for them but not a name that you will see in textbooks anymore. So now we call them for some reason vertical angles. Angles across from each other, formed by intersecting lines, and they are congruent. And that concludes lesson 1-5. Thank you very much.